Yo, what's going on, 67 underscore today? We're here doing a ranked 1v1, and I'm playing Naja today. The reason I'm playing Naja is because uh she got well, sorry, he got a little changed, and he um got less healing on his two. <clears throat> Excuse me. He got less healing on his two, but to compensate. He got more crit rate, which is actually a big compensation. I mean, going he went from 15% to 20%. So it's not, it doesn't feel like a an absolutely insane compensation, but it does feel good. I mean, like, let's not let's not get it twisted. It 20% crit feels a lot better than 15%. You know, 15% crit is 1 in 7. 20% crit is 1 in 5. So, you think about it that way, that was a pretty big buff. And pop. Come on, big crit. Oh, it actually did crit. Look at that. Look at that. You go, come on, big crit. And it crits. It just does it. It just listens. Nice. All right, you didn't do your your red, which is good for me. I cannot kill you, but I can hurt you a little bit. Enough to at least I can maybe get this red buff. Um... You die here, maybe. Oh, my da my sash doesn't go as far as his dash. Really? That's that's pretty surprising. Cause I was like right up on his booty cheeks. And then he He was able to kind of slither away. <laughs> slither away at the last second. All right, fair enough. Holy mother of goodness. The amount of potions. I clearly do not want to get in a, a war of attrition battle with this man because she's Louise. He's got healing and 115 potions. Well, the reason I altered him was because I didn't want him to clear the wave, but he just rocked his two beforehand anyways, which is a little unforked, but also completely understandable. Mm. Oops. Whatever. I'm just going to go get Transcendence here. Mm. When you mess up your clear like that, makes a man think. But also you have alt, and I'm not stupid. And you're going to stop my back. There's nothing he actually gains from stopping my back here, so... Really don't care. Oh, I thought he hit me. I just instantly started char charging my back again. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, he got his back off, which means he can get Transcendence here. Um, and crit, not crit, but big clear dominance. Okay. I guess he's Amaterasu. It makes sense to go dominance instead of transcendence. Oh, okay. He's going to clear wave. I'm just going to get blue buff here. He clears wave so that I can't invade his blue, basically. That's what that play is, in case you're wondering. Which I'm sure everyone is. Or reason you watch these videos, because you wonder about what goes on. Um, the duration of this gets increased now, and the healing gets increased quite a bit. I wonder if it's ever worth to max my two. Instead of my three.
Oh, okay. Oh shit. Um, not enough to kill. And he's got a lot of potions. If he dash twos me here, this this could hurt. He didn't. No big deal there. Oh, you are low. No way, dude. Oh, man. The healing that this man possesses is actually nuts. It's actually so much healing. Damn. After all that, I don't win the fight. Oh, my God. That was very close. Did he not even do red buff? Did he just straight up try to kill me? Was he just being weird on the side there the whole time? He was. He was actually just being weird on the side the whole time. And then he get, he did red after I back. Whoa. What an odd play. And he went mid guard. I guess it makes sense. I, I suppose Midgard makes sense. I really want this blue buff. <clears throat> All right. I was a little scared that he was going to try to invade and steal it. Nice. I got all of those stacks, which means I got another 10% cooldown. So he has no cooldown, and I have 30% right now. I guess technically is 10% because he's a warrior, actually. I find it hard to believe I can ever kill him through Midgard, though, to be honest. Hmm. What should my next item be? Uh, pro you know what? It's probably just a Hydra's. It's a very generic build with Naja. Although I will admit... Going Caduceus Club does sound good. Like an extra 30% on that heal. It does sound good. Are you going to dash me? You are. You want to fight me. Um... Got a lot of healing. I could honestly just go beat stick next item. Uh, I'm not fast enough. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Gonna ring bounce again one more time. That'll at least kill the majority of the wave. And it looks like he's going Kane's next or Toxic. Hello. Um, I do really want to go Hydra's next, but I also feel like Anti-Heal would be Immaculate. Wow, I do nothing. Okay. Your tower is under 
Nah. They just don't do enough. All right, that's fine. I'm going to go... You're not going to hit me with that. My blue isn't spawning just yet. There's honestly nothing up right now. So I'm okay with this. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm no longer okay with this. Damn, he's getting every buff. It's a problem because he knows he can too. Like, he knows there's nothing I can do to stop him from getting these buffs. Because he just has, he has confirmable like proc damage. By, by proc damage, I just mean damage he can literally just press a button and it goes off. And I don't have that, so. I'm going to go beat stick before I go hydras here. Mainly because his healing is insane. Beat stick's not a lot of anti heal though. I might need to go a toxic blade as well. I wonder if it would would have been worth if I just went straight into toxic like immediately. They do like the attack speed that stuff brings. Um, is there, is my treasure chest over here? Is that why I haven't seen one all game? That's exactly why I haven't seen one all, all game. Okay. <clears throat> he does have kins now. I just got to make sure he doesn't do bold even. On the bright side, if he's doing Bull Demon, that means he's close enough to Bull Demon to where I can ring bounce off of him. Which means he takes a bit of damage. I got no crits. Unlucky. Oh, it's not unlucky. I was going to say what's not unlucky is the fact that I might be able to kill him here, but his alt is his alt plus his move speed is just crazy. I really don't want him to get that red buff, but I, I don't think I have a choice, man. He just has confirm and I don't unless I get him low enough to not even want to go for it. I think I did. I think I did get him low enough to want to go for it here. To not want to go for it, I'm sorry. Perfect. All right, red buff is mine. He is going Toxic Blade. But I can go get my Hydras now. Um, What are the odds that I can get my blue before he shows up? 10%. Never mind. I just crit it for a thousand. I don't want him to do bull demon. I'm a little scared about that. Okay, there we go. I guess I have nothing to be scared about. Now that I have Hydras, I really want a Serrated because 20% pen is nuts. Um, serrated is just... Well, Serrated in general is just a very good item, but on Naja specifically is like staple almost. Don't hit me. Okay. Okay, so I alt at the same time you alt, but only one of us it's CC. I understand. Only one of us gets CC'd. Uh, I used both of my relics. I don't think he used any relics, to be honest. I'm gonna go serrated. 
I do feel like Toxic Blade is needed, though. That's the problem. I just really don't want to build it. He's going more defense. I'm cool with that. Getting an alt out. I don't know where he is. Red buff me. Thank you. Oh, he, he got a contagion. Oh, he really... He values my healing more than his own. Which is crazy to think about. Like it, That a, an Amaterasu would value a Najah's healing over her own? Really? Oh, I might be able to kill here. Oh, I'm dead. Never mind, not dead. Let's go. Huge, massive murder spree. <clears throat> All right, and then with my two, this tower should just straight up fall apart. And then I can back and get my serrated. I kind of feel like going toxic. So I'm going to. I really don't know if it's a good play or not. But at this point, I'm willing to try anything. The fact that he has double defense is a little weird. Because I have 30% pen. I, I guess last fight, I only had 10% pen, to be fair. Because I didn't have my finish serrated yet. But <clears throat> my damage just skyrocketed. <clears throat> yeah look at that dude look at that damage holy he's gonna run straight to bull demon because he kind of has <clears throat> has to and i if i get lucky on crits he won't even make it here in time uh fun fact i did not get lucky on crits Did I get that? Oh, I did get that. Nice. All right. So that was alt for alt, which I think is acceptable because I'm pretty sure my alt is more valuable than his or uh, less valuable than his because I can win a fight without alts and he cannot. Oh, but he does have that horrific. Ah. Oh. That horrific actually trolled me so hard, man. <clears throat> but I guess it's fine. I died there and I will lose my tower and the red buff, but I got the Phoenix. And I think getting Phoenix is super important. I guess I should also go horrific, huh? Because my... my <clears throat> What is it called? My horn shard is on cooldown right now, so... Horrific is just a good play. It looks like he's going XE now. My cooldown... 30%, so I'll grab this blue buff. <clears throat> Alright. This is it. This is basically the final fight.
go. There is alt for alt again. Only this time I have horrific. Oh, I missed. My guy does do, like, a ton of damage, to be fair. if I win this fight or not. This is a massively important fight, though. Nice. So he missed his two. Oh, my God. Let me look at that damage. Yeah, I got no crits on my two there. He's tanky, man. He's tanky. My ult did 831 damage, which is a lot of damage, but it really didn't feel like that because he has 3,000 health, I guess. Maybe I could sell Hydras for Heartseeker, or I could just keep them and go for a 3,000 damage pot, which might be enough. Because that's 25% power and 10% more pen. Honestly, if I get red buff, I win the game. Okay. There we go. So basically what red buff did <clears throat> is took me from 230 power to 404 power. So my damage output just absolutely skyrocketed. Like it doubled. It doubled. Honestly. Okay. I suck. All right. Alt for alt. gonna dash again i'm gonna wait i'm gonna hold my three oh no way no way he was dead there hmm I only got 40 more seconds on this red buff here. Yeah. Right. Oh my god. And then I punched him for a thousand damage at the end. Holy. <laughs> I killed him. All right. I killed the Titan and punched him for a third of his maximum HP. I literally at the same time. That's insane. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a little Najini gameplay. I haven't played Najah in a while. And like I said, that 20% crit uh, instead of 15 is a big buff. It doesn't sound like a big buff, but it is a big buff. You know, 1 in 7 to 1 in 5 is is pretty massive. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of Najah and his buff. I it did double his damage output, so that's pretty insane. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. Until next time, y'all. Peace.